oftentimes a lot of the big guys will head toward the basket and they'll you know they'll go to dunk the ball or they do dunk it and then there's people all around them and we officials um, uh, you know going back many years if you know at college ball you know if a player uh, grasp the ring and there's people beneath him then you know that's that's by rule that's legal but other than that the rules say a player shall not grasp the ring that's just putting your hand on it and grabbing it and here we have an example uh, of a player who is going up for he's going to go up to try to dunk the ball but it's slapped out of his hands here and so the ball goes out of bounds, but he was in the jumping process, so he could actually just come straight down there now and be okay, but instead, he chooses to grasp the basket. And and once he grasps the basket, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt right there. So his feet are coming back under him, so he should drop right there. But does he? No, he does a little chin up, swings his legs on out of bounds area, gets parallel to the floor, and he's going to let it go, and then he's going to swing back and intentionally make it pop again. I'm pulling it down, and then he swings all the way back behind him again. And then he'll finally let go of the ring. I don't know how long he would have had to swing there before a whistle would have sounded for a technical foul on him. I just don't know. We always talk about before we leave the locker room, guys, let's call the obvious. Let's make sure we don't miss the obvious. Well, that right there, folks, is about as obvious as it can get. Why do we care? if they get a technical foul. Why, why, why?